the he finally asked posts make my blood boil. Am I the only one who gets angry when you see the posts or videos of women getting engaged and saying he finally asked or the other big one I am seeing is is he going to ask? Makes me think of women just waiting around hoping to be picked. I just find it gross and so old-fashioned. My mother is the one who proposed to my father way back in 1988. When the time came for me, my now husband and I talked about it, decided together, then picked our rings out together. I posted an engagement photo once we had our rings. People ask me all the time how did he propose. And I say that he didn't. We discussed it as a couple, as any life-chancing decision should be, IMO. Lesbian couple my partner and I vaguely decided to do it at the top of a mountain we were going to hike, and we ended up proposing to each other while up there. It was really fun while climbing because we were just giddy about it while hiking up, and we didn't know exactly when we would get there. We each had like a little note speech to say to each other when we did it. The whole hike down we're all smiles. It's a really good sequence of memories. I knew that my now husband was going to propose, and a rough time frame we had discussed time frames for marriage and kids. The surprise was the exact when, the where, and the how. I think getting engaged should be something you and your partner discuss, not something you wait around for him to ask you to do. And besides, why can't the woman ask the man? I think I view this kind of posts differently. I could myself be one who gladly says he finally asked, because I was indeed waiting for our proposal and it made me so happy when finally happened. But. We had already agreed that we are staying together and going to get married. We were already living together. We even discussed what kind of ring would be the most suitable. So the proposal itself was kind of a ritual, while everything had been already set before. It wasn't about getting chosen because we had already chosen each other long time ago. Is this in response to the post about the guy finally proposing after 30 hundred days together? I don't know why women stay with men so long if they want to get married and their partners don't. I think it's okay to want your partner to marry you and be excited when they ask. Let's not forget, it's a simple thing denied to many. It's not about waiting around. I think they are cute while engagements and marriage are discussed with partners, proposals are traditionally a surprise. That is what I think of when women say he finally asked it's the happy resolution after months or years of anticipation. It's definitely a happy thing for me and not at all gross two hearts. Truly, a part of true feminism is allowing women to choose for themselves. If they want to do this, let them. It makes your blood boil? That seems, extreme. Other women want to live their lives differently than you, that doesn't mean they are wrong or oppressed and it certainly shouldn't make your blood boil. Just let people be happy and live their lives. I think you should let people live. The practice can be toxic but it also can be beautiful moment that leads to something they both are truly anticipating. This was me when I got engaged. I wasn't waiting around to be picked, we picked each other and talked about it a lot beforehand. I was really excited when he finally asked because it was the next step of our adventure and we'd talked about it for so long. He'd also made such a big effort and put a lot of care and love into the proposal. There's a discussion to be had about cultural norms and the expectations of relationship dynamics, but this post and your responses to comments are really coming across like you blame the individual women rather than the societal standards. There's nothing inherently wrong with wanting a proposal or celebrating being proposed to. Husband and I had discussed long-term permanence with each other and I was waiting for him to propose but without any expectations requirements for him to do so. Then I realized that some women want their partner to propose to prove that he really loves them and that they deserve that effort demonstration. I never needed that, I knew he loved me and wanted me forever, but he'd also been burnt before which made him more hesitant to put himself out there. I also wanted him to know he deserved that effort and demonstration so I proposed to him. Best decision I ever made. Let them be happy lol. I kind of resent being told to want marriage so much. I want a happy, loving lifelong relationship with a partner who is also a best friend. 
being married doesn't really guarantee that and could lock you into something really awful. It's totally okay for some women to want marriage and be excited when the big proposal happens. It's not my jam but I'm glad they are happy. So, you know, live and let live? What makes your blood boil? Is it the man, or the woman? The man who who you don't know and don't know anything about their relationship and who may not be ready himself, or the woman who could also just propose to the man if she really wanted to. I think women make these posts because they dream of the day a man proposes to them, and part of the cost of that is waiting however long it takes the man to do so. If that's not your dream or you think that's old-fashioned, then that's perfectly fine I agree, but no need to get upset about how others feel. My husband and I got married in July this year. We've been together for 10 years this coming April. He never asked me. We had a discussion about it together in April and decided it was time and what we both wanted. We were married by July and literally nothing changed in our relationship, except now I get to call him my husband and me, his wife smiling face. My partner and I have been together seven years, and when people hear that they always say, oh my gosh, when will he finally ask you? When I tell him to I'm not waiting around for some dude to ask me. We will get married when I'm ready. My SO and I aren't quite ready to propose, but I figure once we do, one of us is gonna buy a ring, carry it everywhere, and then wait for the other to propose. That way we can whip it out and become that Spider-Man meme where they are pointing at each other. We are. Odd. But I love it lol. It may grate against your personal views but if that's something they enjoy and want, why disparage it? We'd been together for four years and one day I said, do you want to get married? Because if you don't we need to move on. He said, um, sure and one week later we got married. No fuss, no muss. It's our 35th wedding anniversary tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with being pumped about getting married and there's also nothing wrong with long-term couples never getting married. It's about commitment and communication to each their own. What's wrong with hoping a man you admire commits to a being with you? I was pretty hyped when he finally asked, but that man really bought me a wedding dress, let me pick my own ring, and then sat on it for three years. Facepalm hashtag hash drunk me apparently let it slip I was gone by our next anniversary if he didn't get it together, sober me wasn't going to give an ultimatum. You know, there has to be a better way to approach feminism without making other people wrong. This reminds me of that video of the bride and groom at the altar with the priest and the church and the hundreds of people watching. The groom says his vows, and now it's the bride's turn. She pulls out her paper with her vows written on it, and she blows on it, and a bunch of dust comes off of it. Everybody laughs their butts off. It was really funny. Honestly, it sounds a little crazy to have this impact you in such a way. Let people be happy for their moments. It's not your place to validate their experience and you can, and should, just ignore it if it causes you to react in such a negative way. I think it's okay for women to be excited about the man they love proposing to them. I don't think the feminism and women's empowerment movements are helped by shaming women who choose to get married. The point is that we all get to live our lives the way we choose, isn't it? The best advice I ever got, and it was from my grandma, was never date a woman who knows what her wedding dress is going to look like. Basically, you won't meet the real person until after marriage, you'll only see the version of herself she's made to catch a man. My grandpa had the other side of this for my sister never date a man who says he knows exactly what he wants in a wife. Again, you won't ever see the reality till after marriage p. They were married 81 years when they both died within a week of each other. It's awkward when I see women in 8 9 10 year long relationships asking when is he going to propose. Then he ends the relationship and moves on and they realize they were just a placeholder. Especially when he marries the next woman within a year. A friend of mine proposed to the guy she was dating. He turned her down, saying that the man should be the one to propose. I got bad vibes about him when I heard that. Eventually, he did propose, they married, and he turned out to be a jerk, so they divorced. Wish I was surprised. That makes your blood boil?